in this. Me. Yes. I will have, it will be criminal as well because I cannot go on Friday and file without filing a police statement first. And the only reason I haven't filed that police statement, which has been used against me, by the way, every day, and the only reason I won't do it, I haven't done it, is because I don't want to hurt you, and that means it goes out of my hands. And every, you know, the third party guy, uh, third party prosecutor comes, and, um, and a criminal lawyer come, and they went, like, the problem is, hearing from you, like, your biggest struggle is that this is just, this, it's such a, it's the most solid evidence case of domestic violence I've ever seen, and if you give this over to them or present any part of it, it's, they will prosecute him, and I felt like, I would, I'm not, like, I would never want that for you. Can you please explain what the context of this was? I was begging Johnny to not make me prove what I've had to sit on the stand in front of all of you and prove and talk about. I was begging not to do this and have to sit where I'm sitting today. I didn't want this. I don't want to be here. I didn't want to be there then. And I was trying to point out something to somebody who I thought did not have a firm grasp on reality. Objection calls for speculation. Overruled. Good. Thank you. I was trying to point out how absurd how absurd it would be for him to keep making me prove this by calling me a liar. I was trying to get him to not call me a liar because everything that I had said to date and everything I've said to date now is the truth. And I was begging him not to make me prove it, that there were photos, that there were witnesses, that there was my testimony. There were years of me with injuries on the dates where we were fighting, and they were documented. I mean, uh, pictures from 2012. So I was trying to say to him either, you'd suppose that people would rather believe this is a hoax, elaborate, well-orchestrated, year-long campaign for what? Or that, what? It just seemed crazy. And I thought no one was advising him in his best interest. I thought no one was telling him the truth. I know he's surrounded by yes men, and I thought nobody was saying to Johnny, this is crazy, don't do this. And I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want to hurt him. I loved him. I loved him so much. I, that's why I'm explaining to him why I didn't file criminal charges. I didn't file a police report, even though it was being used against me. I didn't want this to go to a prosecutor. I didn't want this to hurt Johnny. I don't want this to hurt Johnny. Michelle, can you bring up DEP Exhibit 357D as in David? Uh, and that is 17 colon 25 to 17 colon 37. I'm going to move the admission, Your Honor. All right. Any objection? No objection. All right. Any evidence? 357D. Okay. I've been Baby. called a liar. Baby. And I've been called Baby. a gold digger. Baby. Everyone is. Baby. Every Amber, I didn't call you those things. I didn't call you those things. Baby. I'm, I'm going to go on now to, uh, can we go to Plaintiff's Exhibit 357E? And this is 21 colon 47 to 22 colon 37. Right. I'm going to move the admission, Your Honor. Any objection? No objection. 357E. Thank you. And you're stronger. And so when I say that I thought you could kill me, that doesn't mean you count her. Which you also, uh, that, that, that you lost your own finger. I, I am not trying to attack you here. I'm just trying to point out the fact of why I said call 911. Because I was, you are, you had your hands on me, I was on the phone in my face, and I just got crazy in the past, and I truly thought, 
I need to stop this madness before I get hurt. Oh my God. And I never think about myself that way. I never defend myself that way. I never see myself as a victim. It's right. your fault, you know? All right, yeah. And I... I, I, when they came, I did not cooperate with them. It has been used against me, not by the media, by your side. And, and what are you referring to there? <laughs> that I'm don't want to call myself a victim. I don't like to think of myself as a victim, and I don't want him to think I'm attacking him or blaming him. I'm pointing out I didn't cooperate with the police, that I didn't want to get him in trouble that I didn't want to hurt him I don't want anything from him just don't call me a liar it's all I said just don't call me a liar just don't say this isn't real because I'm the walking proof of it I'm going to ask to bring up plaintiff's exhibit dep exhibit 357f as in frank 24 colon 04 to 24 colon 48 and move the admission all right any objection no objection all right 357f i have said only this from the very beginning i only have my integrity and they get what about mine they keep me, what about mine they keep taking that's what keeps i'm trying to tell you literally in words i'm out out of my mouth that's what i'm trying to say to you every step of the way i have said to them the thing is, they're hurting Johnny by this because every time that they call me a liar or they say this is not true or even that this text message did not actually happen or that uh, uh, your security guard, which by the way was a follow-up to your security guard thing they never saw abuse happening. The same security guard who, by the way, have said to me multiple times that I was going to get killed. And... What are you talking about there, Amber? That even though Johnny told me that his guards would say whatever he needed them to say, that they were the same guards who had told me that I would lose objection, my life this way. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. All right, sustain so objection. It came in through the tape, so that's all right. We're fine. Um, let's go, Michelle. Your Honor, to, yeah, if we could approach, please. I'm sorry. Michelle, can you bring up Dep Exhibit 357G, Plaintiff's 357G, and it's 26 colon 00 to 26 colon 28. 